Welcome back. In my dirty hands, I hold something that was not cast nor machined, but directly 3D printed in metal. This was printed by Proto Labs using the direct metal laser sintering method. I got this from uh, protolabs.co.uk, but they operate worldwide though, so uh, you can go to protolabs.com also. There's links in the description. If you want to know what this is for, scroll through my other videos and watch them and you'll, uh, you'll understand. Disclaimer, they did this for me for free. I'm hesitant to call this a paid promotion though. Because they didn't really expect much in return. I got a few things to say though and uh, these words are from me, so my words, not theirs. Hands down the most pleasant and helpful and enjoyable customer service I've ever encountered. Hands down. Just amazing. They're fast as hell. If it weren't for DHL Norway being notorious for screwing things up, this would have arrived here three days after I submitted the model. So that's insane. Quality of the print exceeds my expectations big time. It's I just like I didn't really follow the rules here. This is just this is my part made for casting, so it's made to be castable. There's some overhangs and stuff that shouldn't really work for uh, for this process, but it did. So awesome quality. This brings me to why 3D print a cylinder. Though reasonable for what it is, it is expensive, or is it? The first and most important reason is you can 3D print stuff that's completely uncastable. Like really intricate cooling circuitry with tiny channels and internal cooling fins. Rectifier type stuff in the transfer ducts might be possible. Like you could include the head and print the whole thing. Don't have to worry about the about sealing and uh, you could have some really intricate cooling circuitry going into the head and preventing cooling of the combustion chamber but cooling the squish pan and the cooling the plug and there's like there's no end to the possibilities that's reason number one reason number two say you wanted to investment cast a two-stroke cylinder first you would need a 3d printer to print your model in a pla or other suitable or burnable material for investment casting like lost PLA, lost wax. Then you will need a bunch of investment plaster to encase your model in a flask. You need a programmable burnout oven large and hot enough to burn out the PLA or uh, wax and cure the plaster completely. You need a furnace to melt the aluminium. You need patience and resilience, perseverance to endure the multiple failures, both casting failures and printing failures. These are just a few of my failures. This stuff adds up fast, both in time and money. So maybe 3D printing isn't that expensive after all. Casting is cool though, and you can do it yourself. Not so with metal 3D printing yet, so I won't stop casting. That's it for now. Plan with this cylinder is to machine it on my new CNC mill. When it's ready, when it's uh, fixed, I've ordered the motors, the stepper and the spindle motor. And plate it. If my other cylinder, if the plating in that cylinder turns out to be a success this time, I'll plate it myself also. Probably. Okay, see you next time.